Hey, hey, what is up, YouTube? Andrew Rooney here. I'm a full time drummer and drum teacher here in Auckland, New Zealand, and we have got a very special Patreon pick. Now, it is rather special because, again, it is from my friend Thomas Babayan. And if you're a fan of this channel and you're a fan of Rush and Neil Peart, as a lot of you are, then Thomas Babayan is someone that you need to thank because he has been responsible for more than one Neil Peart request. So he has sent through another one. So I'm going to jump on it straight away. I'm going to read out his message here. Hopefully that's all right, Thomas. Hey, Andrew, I have another Neil Peart video that I'd like to request. This one is a drum solo he did at the 1994 Buddy Rich Memorial Concert. It's more jazzy for Neil's plane, but it shows how diverse his skills were. Here's the link. Thanks, Thomas. Thomas, thank you. Now, if you're not aware, I actually did a jazz degree, which finished in 2009. So this video, I haven't seen it, but this one, I knew this was going to pop up and it's going to be very interesting for me. And Buddy Rich, who the Buddy Rich Memorial Concert, if you're not familiar with Buddy Rich, oh boy, I've done one video on him a long time ago, right back when I started doing these videos. When I was just doing videos that I wanted to do, there were no requests. I was, I was just showing you videos that I had already seen that I knew were incredible. And the Buddy Rich one was one of those. Absolutely phenomenal drummer. Really one out of the box. A really unusual and frighteningly good drummer. So for Neil Peart to take on this, I mean, this is, this is the top of the mountain. Um, I mean, a lot of you will say Neil Peart's the top of the mountain. Well, in jazz and oh, possibly drumming, I mean, Buddy is right at the top. So this is uh, big shoes to fill, and um, I'm sure it's you know very exciting for the Neil Peart fans and um, and the Buddy Rich fans who are at this concert. You know, getting to see how Neil is going to take on uh, one of the big Buddy tunes. Without further ado, let's check it out. Now it's weird in hearing Neil play swing. It's that stone cold bass, man, concentration. Now, I'm just going to stop it there because if you're not familiar with jazz, you know, perhaps you're a, a really hardcore Rush fan and you're not, you don't listen to jazz. That ride pattern, well, that right hand pattern, should I say, is uh, that's rather fast for the jazz swing pattern. Um, so, yeah, that already is very impressive and very precise. I mean, we've got some very quick, tight, up tempo swing here. New York tempo. Tasty hits there. Just uh, watch the way that he catches these figures. Uh, there are, there's a lot to break down here. What are we rocking here as well? Is that a, it looks a lot like a recording custom, but the lugs don't. What kind of kit is he rocking here? It l sounds fantastic. Check out the figures here, the way he ca catches them. It's a long song to be playing this tempo. There's 
some really good uh, conversation happening on the snare here. Again, very subtle, but watch the way he captures the figure again, but different this time because it's underneath a solo. Outlining the structure by going to the uh, two and four back there. Tempo. Very taxing right hand part here. Now those horn steps, those bat bat, where he's catching the cymbals. I mean, this is precision stuff. You've got a really hot shot band. You've got to you've got to be good. You've got to be really good to be capturing those sharply in time. I mean, they will, they'll let you know. If you're dragging, they, you know, this kind of band, they'll let you know. No reading going on. He's got his chart there. Oh, we're going to have a solo spot. Got the jazz style MP on the front of the uh, head. Get a little double bass in there. Dynamics down, crescendo back up. Here we go. Hey, he's playing a, playing a rock beat. Sami triplets, I think, there. Oh, sneer off. Here we go. drive a, cr a crowd wild. Really melodic, nice. Crossover. A real Buddy Rich uh, trait. Yeah, 
turn it back on. I don't even see him get on. Accents, guys. Accents, hands. Doubles with accents. Really good stick control here. Wow, that's low. Low stick height. Coming up. Crescendo. They didn't just put an ad like literally five seconds before the end of a Neil Peart drum solo. Well, that was super interesting for me. I mean, hearing a little bit of jazz vocab in Neil's playing. Now, I'm not sure. Was Buddy Rich a massive influence on Neil or was he, you know, just someone that he, he admired? Was it like a genuine influence on his playing? I'm not sure. Obviously, a very chopsy player with a lot of facility you know Neil Peart so I would not be surprised because Buddy was the facility guy I mean facility up the wazoo Buddy Rich so very interesting we had some really genuine comping vocab on the left hand snare you know during the solos and then we had a really tasty extended drum solo which was great you know snare off snare on exploring you know lots of different tonal ideas on the kit Really great. I really dug it. I'm so glad to have finally got to the Buddy Rich Memorial Tribute by Neil Peart. Again, Thomas Babayan, thank you so much for being such a generous uh, patron. And I'm really glad to get to your pick. And I'm really glad to do more Neil Peart. Guys, I look forward to the next one. Plenty of Neil Peart in the pipeline. Don't worry about that. And if I can get things under control, we will indeed do rush week it's gonna happen it will happen don't worry until next time ciao